Edinburgh Institute of Technology began rolling out e-learning as part of its metal fabrication course in mid-2010. Despite being only early days, the benefits to industry are already evident. The multi-featured model includes the use of smart board technology, learning through multi-formats and electronic evidence collection. It's boosted by the enthusiasm of apprentices and the involvement of employers. As part of their training, students can upload videos and photos of fabrication jobs they have done at work. This evidence can then be assessed, creating a link between the learning and its application in the workplace. Instead of having all the paperwork that you had to go through and getting the boss to sign it off and show, show him what you can do and going back to tech and having to sort of show them practically what you can do, you can sort of take a photo of what you do at work or something like that and put it up on the website and, or on the site and sh the teachers can go in and look at your profile on there and actually show it, see what you can do and instead of having to go to tech and redo it all and get marked off you're doing it at the workshop, so you're making money for your boss as well as doing the tech side of things as well. All the apprentices can see what others have uploaded and Luke Molino says this creates a bit of friendly competition to do better work. It's a bit of a friendly competition probably. Yeah, you see something, so you post something up better than what they've got and then it just keeps going and by the end of it there's going to be someone that you can't beat what they've done. So yes, yeah, it's sort of a competition to see who can make the best things or most interesting things and yeah I think it's probably a little bit of fun as well. Steve McMahon from CIT has found that the e-learning approach has led to a close working partnership with local businesses and means training is not duplicated so saving time. When they come to, to TAFE they'll then save time or get credit of time for the, the skills that they've already achieved for those competencies. Um, so we're always in constant communication with the employer to make sure that, that what they're doing on the job um, is meeting the learning outcomes that's required for off the job and that we're not bringing them to CIT to, to train them or, or assess them against skills that they've already developed on the job. Jared Davis from Serverax Australia says the e-learning gives them more access to what the apprentices are learning. The platform is much better and more relevant than um, what we had before. I mean, everyone's got a mobile phone and can upload you know, videos of things that they've done. Um, certainly for us, um, it would give us uh, a better idea of what they're actually doing at, at uh, TAFE. To be actually be able to log in and, and see what the lessons are um, would be a real benefit to us. CIT's e-learning has allowed remote training to take place and has seen more input from the local employers to ensure the training fits their needs. It's, it's positioned CIT in a position where we can offer uh, training to more remote areas or more regional areas because they don't need to attend as much. Um, as Once we sit down and meet with the employer and, and have a discussion about the training and how the training will, will happen, um, we can identify what can be done on the job and what can't be done on the job. Um, so that way we can then have them come to CIT to do the off-job component in the areas or competencies that they can't deliver. So we simulate that 100% within, within this environment that we work in. The Canberra e-learning model shows that metal fabrication businesses can benefit from greater input into training content and that the model encourages learners to produce their best possible work. I think that if you don't brace this e-learn um, resource or e-learn type of delivery mode, you're going to miss out. For more information and videos, visit the e-learning for industry website, industry.flexiblelearning.net.au or you can email CIT. Stephen.mcmahon at cit.edu.au